Hi, uh, myself Dipayan. I am a cybersecurity architect uh, as a profession and uh, into cybersecurity from last 20 plus years. So we, uh, as I have seen in last, you know, at least two decades of my profession, uh, we used to be pretty much manual and, you know, compiling stuff and analyzing stuff manually. But given the nature of businesses today, when data is everywhere and the type nature of data is also changing, uh, the amount of data volume is changing. We have cloud, we have on-prem stuff. So keeping up with the cyber threats is no more easy and uh, you know it, it's no more scalable from manual point of view. So obviously, uh, we have to automate and even from automation point of view, uh, it's it's not enough, right? There is a limitation how much we can automate and what we can automate. So obviously, the default choice right now is to go with the machine learning, and then the next stage is obviously the uh, you know uh, AI stage. Lately, I was uh, trying to see how it works in practically uh, you know in, in practicality. Uh, I started you know, scribbling around and came out with a prototype of uh, myself to detect command and control in the uh, network just by looking into the domain uh, itself. Uh, so what I did was took the proxy logs and started looking into the DGA domains, the domain generation algorithms uh, that the malware use. They pretty much generate random domains. So the uh, Algorithm that I worked on is predominantly trained on detecting these random domain versus a normal domain. Say, you know, you pick any domain today, uh, say particularly Google.com versus something totally gibberish, which is uh, non-readable. Uh, that's how the malwares generate the uh, you know domains using the domain generation algorithm. So my machine learning prototype that. I built is predominantly looking into uh, this space. It's trained to detect uh, these kind of domains and it's a pretty positive indicator that there is a malware in the domain because nobody else today uses DGA based uh, domains, right? Uh, and if you see such a domain in your network, it's a very strong indicator of compromise.